and this hallway is wet where I can't walk in and out my room, then there's only one option for me to do. I can either go to my son Damon's house, stay with him and Bianca, and Four minute, let me count my, you know, you know. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I am back another video i hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed and amazing day today if you have not subscribed to the crier family what are you waiting on all you got to do is turn that bell on to subscribe to the channel but being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed you guys already know about my two other channels one being a reaction channel the other being a banging prank channel Go on over and follow me on my reaction channel and on my prank channel the description to both of those channels will be in the description box down below. The link to both of those channels will be in the description box down below. Also, if you have not heard, as you've seen at the beginning of the video, it says, go on over and follow me on my new Facebook page. It's called Damien Cryer. Most of the prank videos I'm gonna be dropping on my new Facebook page, you will not even see on YouTube, guys. So go on over there right now and show your boys some love, man. We are on the road to 10,000 followers over there, man. Um, trust me, it's lit over there. You guys will not be disappointed. So guys, before I start this video, guys, as you guys know, your boy has been spending some time fixing this house up, trying to upgrade things a little bit. Um, and I was on a roll. I mean, I was on a roll, guys, where I had one unfortunate situation occur after they finished the kitchen. Once the floor had bubbled, I don't want to repeat and take you guys back to all that again. But... A while back, I had got my whole entire, well, not the whole entire kitchen because the refrigerator hadn't came yet, nor was the walls painted. But I told you guys in earlier vlogs, when I, <clears throat> when I was doing the kitchen uh, upgrade tour vlogs, that I wanted to wait until Black Friday to buy the refrigerator. And that's exactly what I did. So the refrigerator is purchased. It just wouldn't make sense to bring the refrigerator to the house until after everything is done. So today is actually Saturday. Well, actually this is uh, Friday night. It's extremely, extremely late. I have my son Dion here. He's in a bed sleep right now. So I started this video late so I can get it to you guys kind of early tomorrow. But Saturday and Sunday, the crew who's working on the floor, guys, are gonna work throughout the whole entire weekend. That is some serious dedication. So they just about got the whole entire floor done, guys. The last one needs to be ripped up is my bedroom floor, guys. So they're gonna save that for last. And the bathroom floor, which is adjacent to my bedroom. So they're gonna do that floor next, guys. Um, because what happened was, when they started doing the house, I had nowhere to sit, nowhere to lay down or nothing. So they did the major part of the house first. And so what I'm gonna show you guys, it kind of makes sense. So that way when they start the room, either tomorrow or Sunday, I can go ahead and navigate my way to the front room. I may have to pull out me an air mattress or something or um, sleep on the couch or something like that. But anyway, they have a lot of the floor work done, guys, and you guys are gonna really love what I'm about to show you, but it's not complete yet. We still have a long way to go. Um, <clears throat> they told me it was gonna be about four or five days tops. I think they might've stuck their foot in their mouth a little bit. They started the project Wednesday. They started demolishing the floor Wednesday, tearing everything up. And well, they actually didn't, didn't do too bad because they got the whole floor up Wednesday. They tore it all up. Thursday, which was the next day, they came in guys and started literally scraping the old gunk off the floor and putting the new floor down already. So as of today, Friday, we will say we're about 75 to 80% done. But before I take you guys on this quick little tour, guys, I wanna go over something with you guys. My legs is itching, they're dry from the shower. So <clears throat> earlier today, a lot of content creators woke up to some devastating news. And most of you guys may be aware of what happened, but a lot of content creators woke up and their channels were gone, deleted, demolished, finito, out of there. And there was a lot of people who don't even follow me on IG that found me and was DMing me because one of the people um, 
whose channels was affected was one of my children. And some people were reaching out to me saying, oh my God, what happened? Some people were hurt because his channel was deleted. Some people were extremely excited and said, finally, yes, he's out of here. But the thing is right here, man, you got so many people praying on your downfall. It is unbelievable, man. So many people pray on your downfall. Not everybody, but you got certain people who's there for one thing and one thing only. They're only there to look at your subscriber count, how many views you got on the video, and stuff like that. They're not even really looking at the content. They're there just to look at your views, to see if you're gaining views or losing views or gaining subscribers or losing subscribers. The, what, what I have to say to that, man, is if you have people like that who's following you, Keep doing what you're doing because it's a slap in the face. Every time that you drop a video, they plan on your downfall, but every other day or every day you drop a video, it's a slap in the face to them. So let them say what they want to say, man. But the same thing make you laugh, makes you cry. Because all those people whose channels were deleted found out it was a glitch at YouTube. It was a mistake. And a few hours later, all those channels, our five channels that I know of, are five separate individuals, all their channels are back online. It was a huge mistake and YouTube even sent these people a long detailed email about their channel was replaced and that there was some type of glitch. So when it, when you have people praying on your downfall, what you do, man, is you go harder and harder and harder. I recently had some things said to me, guys, that knocked my socks completely off my feet. Some things that I was not expecting. I'm not going to go into detail about it because it's all good. But when it was said to me, it actually motivated me to go just that much harder. And that's what I do, guys. But anyway, guys, so I am in my office area sitting down starting this video for you guys because I want to show you what they did so far to the floor. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget afterwards, like, comment, share the video, and expect more videos to come from the Cryer family. So here we go. So in my office, as you guys see, the floor, let me move this chair up. The floor is just about done in this whole room right here. This room wasn't that big at all. Now, you guys know this bedroom was essentially meant to be one of the three bedrooms that's in my house. But being that I live by myself, um, I don't have a need or a reason to fix all the rooms up with beds. Um, you know, um, I don't have a lot of company. I do have guests that come down from time to time. They may fly down to Houston to visit me, but for the most part, it's just me. And to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't trade my living arrangements for nothing in the world. I love living by myself. I'm used to it. I've been on my own for a lot of years. And let's just say things get better every day. I'm just going to leave that where it's at. So yeah, that's this room right here, guys. So as you see, they have these spacers now on the floor. So that way, when, when the floor dries, it doesn't, they, they want to keep this gap right here. I'm thinking that this gap is for the floor to continue to, to breathe. And so that's it for this room. There's not a whole lot to show. Out here, as you guys see the hallway, they have the hallway complete. Now you're going to see like a bunch of white spots on the floor, like right here, right there. That's the stuff that they put under the floor to help the floor stay together. So they have the hallway all done, guys. The closet is right here. They still have tools here. That's just about done. Now, they end up installing my brand new vanity along with my brand new toilet. I know people don't like to see your toilets in their videos, but it's all good, guys. So here it is, guys. When I got, when I got this uh, vanity, I didn't realize that it had drawers right here. So I have drawers to put stuff in now, which I didn't have the luxury of having this type of drawer before. Before my other vanity, I used to keep my toothpaste up here, toothbrush, mouthwash, bars of soap right here, hand wash, body wash. I had the sink so cluttered, but now it's no longer cluttered and I'm really, really excited. The water is not on yet to the sink because they still have the lines that has to be reattached because they're still actually working on it. They have the new toilet installed, which is working. It's already plugged in and everything. Already very usable. And as you can see from the obvious, the floor and the restroom is done. Again, it needs to be cleaned up. And they have to put the bottom piece on, which is that white base that goes all the way around to make it look real, real pretty. 
So I'm assuming, oh, I think, yes, they already installed one right there. They installed one in the back of the toilet already. So that's pretty awesome. So it's gonna look really nice when it's all done. Now over here is my laundry room. As you guys see, they're working on the floor as of earlier today before they left. So the first day they came out, they was here to like 3.30. And then the second day they came out, which was Thursday, they was here to five. Today they was here to almost seven o'clock this evening. So this is the laundry room. So as you guys see, it's looking around. The laundry room is almost complete, guys. They still have tools out, and of course, they still have the spacers right here. So, that's a couple of the rooms right here. This next room that we're gonna walk into, guys, this was originally my office when I first got this house. You guys can still see my old green still, my old green screen still sits right here on this wall. Of course, they have my washing machine and dryer in here, and check it out, guys. It's crazy how one day this whole floor was all brown and now look at it today. So look at this. This is actually a closet, but they took the doors off the rail so they able to get the floor, the old floor in and out. And as you see at the bottom, they still have to put the base in, the white thing that goes around the back, the, the back of the walls, which I'm gonna be showing you guys those things here shortly because they're in another room. And so it's just coming along very, very well, guys. It's all coming along. Just like clockwork, man. So I'm gonna turn this light off, guys, so we can go to the next room. I'm trying to show you guys everything without actually turning the camera on and off this time. So we can turn this one off. We no longer need this light on. And we do not need the restroom light on. Now we're going into my front room area, guys. Now, oh, guys, look, this is the hallway. Remember how it was rough the other day? It's all smooth now. They just started doing this right here today. This is the hallway closet. The hallway closet, I'm sorry. The hallway closet is already done. They starting right here by the front door area. And then they'll be done with this whole area right here. Now I'm gonna turn this light on. Again, don't judge my front room, guys. They have stuff all over the freaking house. But this is what the floor looks like in the front room. Those are the floor, those are the, the boards that's gonna go along the bottom of the wall, guys. And as you guys see, the other day, all the stuff that you're looking at in my front room was actually in my kitchen area. They moved everything out of the kitchen today so they can start doing the kitchen. So everything is in here, which lets me know they're almost done with this floor. This stuff right here is from my laundry room. All these clothes that's folded up, it goes on this rack right here because I don't have room in my closet. Neither do I have room in any of my bedroom drawers for any clothes. Um, so yeah, as you guys go around with me with the camera, you guys can see the floor. Like I said, it looks really, really messy right now because they're still in the process of finishing. But what makes me feel really, really good about this whole process, if they move the furniture back in here, it means that they're just about done with this front room. But for the most part, they got that little bit over there to go and then they gotta put the baseboards in. I think I'm saying that right. Then they have the spacer still down there because that's still drying over there. It's still in the process of drying. So again, it's kind of really cluttered in here right now. I have more box. Oh, this is my Christmas tree right here. I have to put that together. Hopefully, I know I probably won't be able to do Vlogmas, guys, and I'm sorry. And if I do Vlogmas, I'm only going to be able to do like two weeks of it because the first week was dedicated to getting my house done. So we're going to turn this light on right here before we go to the kitchen and show you these. Okay, these long boards right here that's going along the wall. They've already painted these and these set outside today and dried. They're pretty long too. These are actually gonna go along the base of the wall at the bottom. Once the floor is all done, which is gonna make it stand out. The ones I had on before was here for years, probably a lot of years before I even moved into this house. So they looked at really yucky. So these are brand new, very bright white and they look extremely good right here are the closet doors that go in one of my office areas. 
And so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna stand back. Again, it looks really cluttered in here, guys. But see, there's a reason why I'm showing you this because I wanna show you guys the process of everything. So that way, when it all gets done and comes together, you guys will see that final video and be like, oh my God. Now we're gonna go into the kitchen area. These extra boards right here, this one on top of each other. Earlier they put them down because the floor was wet, so you had to actually walk on these boards right here without stepping on this, but this is dry now. So as we come into the kitchen area, as you guys can see, the kitchen floor is about 80 to 85% done already. They do a very, very fantastic job. Over here is still the Bear Concrete, which we have several boxes. Now the kitchen, I thought that they were gonna do the kitchen last because they have to paint the walls. But I guess they're gonna go ahead and just do the floor now, bring the refrigerator in, and then start doing the walls. But they're doing a very, very fabulous job, man. I mean, I am extremely impressed, man. I am extremely impressed with what they're doing. So, yep. So we have just a little bit concrete. Oh, and another reason why I found out why they left the kitchen floor for last is because the origin of the water leak that caused the damage to the floor in the first place came from that area right over there. So they purposely left this floor open for two or three days to make sure there was no chance of any more water coming out of that pipe right there. So the refrigerator is already purchased. It will be here. All we have to do is just call them and say deliver it. It's already paid for, it's already purchased. We just have too much stuff in this house to move around right now to be trying to move a refrigerator in and out from the walls and stuff. We do have this one right here. People gave me like a lot of good advice. I could use this refrigerator in the garage for this, is the old refrigerator. I can use this in the garage for like extra meat and stuff. You guys know what the new round of COVID coming back in and stuff. Um, the last COVID outbreak that we had that was extremely bad, especially here in Houston and, and, and other parts of the nation, you had like a huge food shortage, stores were closing down, and a lot of people still never recovered from that first big outage that we had as far as the COVID and store outages and closing and stuff. So the advice I got was to keep that refrigerator right there and use it as like <clears throat> a backup refrigerator for like extra meat, extra bottled water, extra food and stuff. Um, because you never know when you're gonna have another huge emergency, guys. Now, as far as right here, this refrigerator, I don't know if I told you guys in the last video, this refrigerator that's coming is gonna be the same color as the new dishwasher, which, guys, I haven't had a chance to enjoy the kitchen long enough to even use this thing yet. I haven't even used it yet. I know how to power it on, though. <laughs> I do know how to power it on. Well, I actually never even used it yet. The stuff that came with it is still inside of it. Cascade. I mean, it's never even been turned on yet. Well, I just turned it on just now, so. Power, I guess you gotta hold the button to power it off. I'm thinking, let me see. Power off, power off. That's how you do it right. Oh yeah, hold for three seconds. Let's try it again. One, two, three. That should power off on its own. But this is the refrigerator that's come. Oh yeah, it's gonna be the same color as this, the stainless steel and black. And the stove, stainless steel and black. So they put all kind of stuff up here to get it out the way. The refrigerator that's going here is gonna be the big stainless steel refrigerator with the double doors on it. It's also gonna have the ice maker and it's gonna have like a touch pad on it, which I think is really cool because I never really had a refrigerator, like a touch screen refrigerator. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, guys, this is the kitchen floor where all the damage caused all this rock is at, but it is finally, finally about to come together. Yep. So in the next video that I show you guys, I wanna be able to show you guys all the floors all put together. But the reason why I'm doing so many different videos is because I wanna show you guys like step by step how they piece everything together. And then for me, it's a lot of good memories for me because when I go back and look at how the kitchen used to look when I first got this house and how it looks now, guys, it's like it's continuously coming together. Um, now, as far as the walls, 
the walls are going i wasn't going to tell you guys but i'm just going to tell you guys in a way the walls is going to be like most of the modern home walls look now kind of like a grayish color i like to have a lighter color because i do plan on doing cooking videos in this kitchen as you guys seen i wasn't joking i have dropped quite a few cooking videos already um some short cooking videos some long cooking videos but i want the walls to kind of stand out like the cabinets this color is what you see in most modern kitchens when you walk into like a new home now this is the type of stuff that you actually see in the kitchen and if you pay attention to the walls they're either like a light gray color or a dark gray color so that's what it that's what i'm going to be doing to this kitchen hopefully today is friday again hopefully by sunday <clears throat> or monday morning they'll be coming in with the paint crew and all this stuff like i told you before that's coming down the brown shades aren't coming down just yet i have to still get these measured and see what size of blinds i want to put up here um so the walls are going to be gray obviously the blinds are going to be white but all the brown stuff up there are all coming down they're all coming down finito bye bye out of there yep all that stuff was coming down so I'm gonna take you guys back by my bedroom and just show you real quick the rest of the process that's gonna be done. Cause right now the guy told me today that they're going to be coming to my bedroom, so I'm gonna have to get my. Oh my God! This is why. To see, this is one of the things that I'm having a problem with. If they were to come into my bedroom right now, it's because during the daytime they're here for eight to ten hours. While they're here throughout the day, I'm usually in my bedroom all day watching television i'll come out every once in a while or run up the street and grab me some lunch or something but now it's like if they were to come in my bedroom like tomorrow i would be like what am i gonna do so i would actually hope that they have at least one of these rooms even if it's the office room i can put an air mattress in one of these office rooms so i can go in there and plug a television in or something but if they decide to come there tomorrow and start working it's like what am i gonna because I'm not going to just leave 10 people in my house working while I'm away. That's not going to happen. I don't think nobody's going to do nothing like that. So hopefully they don't do the bedroom tomorrow. But I know they have to come in and get this floor up. I'm going to do this quiet because my son is asleep. But they got My floor is pretty nasty from all the white stuff and stuff, walking back and forth and stuff. But yeah, that's where it cut off at right there. So I can still have my privacy in my room and stuff. Yeah, look at my little man. Y'all can't see him, but he's up there knocked out. But yeah, all this is going to be coming up in the next couple of days. Hopefully tomorrow. You know what? Hopefully they start it tomorrow. Because even though they start it tomorrow, I don't mean they're going to finish it. I know the most important thing they want to do is get the floor out. And right here, oh yeah, all these glass, this, this, these glass mirrors right here. I got glass mirrors right there, and I also have glass mirrors right here. So they have to take the glass mirrors out because I have hardwood floor in the closet. I have hardwood floor in that closet right there. Back here, guys, I had to like I got these boxes off the floor. These boxes were in my closet, like it's extra shoes and all these boxes. I haven't even wore yet. So I got this off the floor because they told me to get everything off the floor. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's not a, really a whole lot more to show, but <clears throat> I wanted to at least show you guys like the progress of what's going on. I'm not, okay, these are like extra. Oh, no, no, these aren't extra pieces. This is actually for this floor right here. Yeah. So tomorrow, only thing is now, I won't be able to walk in and out my bedroom tomorrow. So this is gonna be like a tricky, sticky, icky, icky, icky situation. I guess the worst, the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario for me is if they start my bedroom tomorrow, when they leave at four or five o'clock and this hallway is wet where I can't walk in and out my room, then there's only one option for me to do. I can either go to my son Damon's house, stay with him and Bianca and the grandkids for a couple nights and come over here in the morning and let the workers in. Or me and Dion can go, can go get us a hotel or an Airbnb for a couple days. The only thing is, is that like, 
I can't just leave these people in my house because I don't know these people. They working for me, but I don't know them personally. So that's gonna be kind of a tricky one. So I'm hoping that if they start the bathroom tomorrow, that they only just rip the floor up. And if they start putting it back together, it shouldn't be that much because the bedroom is like a really, it's a nice size bedroom, but it's a small area. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off, man. But I love you guys, man. Thank you for watching. Comment down below if you love the progress of the house, man. Smash that like button, get this video a fat thumbs up. But until next time, it's your boy Damien Cryer. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.